Hi, welcome to the Stained Canvas. Today we're going to be doing the Sew This Page in the Wreck This Journal by Carrie Smith. First steps first is you have to prep your page. It's a very important step in any art making on whatever surface you're doing. So first we're gonna use some clear gesso and we're gonna put it all over the page and then we're gonna let it dry. Now gesso is very important because it helps you paint wet media onto the page. It stops the page from buckling and it stops the page from curling and it stops the paint from seeping all the way through to the other side of the page. Now after we've done that, uh, we're gonna start our painting. Now I chose to do the Sew This Page part first because I just absolutely love fiber arts and fiber art includes anything from sewing, knitting, um, crochet, patchwork, quilting, adding fabric to paintings. Oh, you can do so many things with fabric. Today we're going to be doing a string art. Uh, you can find patterns for string art all over the place on the internet. They're not hard to find. Most of the time you're going to find they include nails and a piece of wood, but if you type in string art for paper, you can find all kinds of different patterns that you can do on a piece of paper just with thread and a needle. Now I'm going to be doing the string art on the sails of the boat and um, I actually have a little trick to show you later on in the video on how to quickly make a knot in the end of your string. It's very simple. Once you can get the eye of the needle uh, threaded properly, then you'll have no problems making your knot. So we're going to get on with this here. And all I'm doing is painting along the tentacles of the octopus and I'm making sure to keep my lines visible. I still need to see where those octopus tentacles will be, where the boat will be, and all of the different aspects of this painting. Later on, I'm going to be using some Liquitex texture medium. I want to add some of the coral in the bottom left hand and the bottom right hand as well. I just, I feel like those spaces could use a little something extra and so I'm going to add that in. Um, I'm going to get to the painting now and I will get back to you later.
completed most of the painting part. Uh, I'm going to be finishing up some of the paint on the boat here. Uh, I'm going to add a red racing stripe to the boat and defining the sails a little bit more. I want to I want to know where my sail edges are uh, and this will help me when I start threading my string and sewing the sail part. So I'm going to add the red line shortly here and um, it's just primary red, regular red, uh, really thin brush that I use. And then after I do that, uh, I'm going to add some of the gray in just to give my boat a little bit of dimension. Um, the gray parts are going to be like where it's curved more, more shadows. And also I'm going to use a darker gray and I'm going to go to the inside of the boat with that one just to make it seem like it has a little bit of depth in there. And I'm going to be adding light blue to the sails of the boat. Now here uh, is the trick that I was talking to you about at the beginning of the episode. So we take the end and we just leave a little tail and we pinch it between the between your fingers with the needle and then you twirl it about three times or four times and pinch that twirl and pull it. So at the end you'll get a knot. It just slides all along the end of the string and you have a perfect knot at the bottom. It's quite it's quite impressive actually. 
Um, and now I'm just going to be doing my sewing. You can find these patterns on the internet. Uh, probably Pinterest would have some. This one does the basic sailboat pattern uh, for the sails. And then I'm just going to continue that um, to all three of my sails. And then once that's done, I'm going to be adding some texture to my octopus with some oil pastels and and I'm going to be adding the water line along the uh, top of the water there as well. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of splashes around the boat and the octopus tentacles. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.